Now, Texas law enforcement across the board is being criticized for not confronting the gunman sooner. Tonight, News 8's Jenna Webster talked with a school resource officer in Dixon, Illinois, who confronted a gunman back in 2018. Tonight, he says that a quick response time really is critical. New tonight at 5. It was here at Dixon High School four years ago that school resource officer Mark Dallas confronted a gunman, preventing what could have been another deadly school shooting. You have to react. May 16th, 2018 is a day Mark Dallas will never forget. We had 182 students uh, preparing for their graduation in our gymnasium. Shots fired at Dixon High School. Shots fired at Dixon High School. I heard gunshots ring out in the hallway uh, of the lobby. Carrying a semi-automatic rifle, police say 19-year-old graduating senior Matthew Milby was firing off shots near the gym. And I engaged him immediately. Um, I've been told it's within three seconds. Three seconds is all it took for Dallas, the school resource officer, to confront Milby. He turned and started shooting at me. I returned fire, struck him twice, and was able to take him into custody there soon after. Our whole incident was done in a minute, 20 seconds, from start to finish. 1,300 miles away at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Breaks my heart. A gunman was inside the school in a fourth grade classroom for 77 minutes. Any active shooter situation, speed's a key. You have to engage a shooter. There's no way you would keep me in a hallway when that was happening. That's what Dallas says his training taught him. If I'd hesitated or, or failed to act, um, I think we would have had probably one of the massive casualty shootings in, in the country. Many of those students are now graduating college this year. But a lot of them are growing up and they're getting jobs and it does it gives me chills kind of just thinking about it. Man, tear to my eye too. And so in Dixon, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. After four years, Matthew Milby has been found fit to stand trial. He is in the Lee County Jail and the county state's attorney says that proceedings will actually begin in July.